Okay, I'm back again to talk about uh, some or do some reviews on some skincare items that I've been using and are almost going to run out and if I'm going to repurchase, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to try and make this quick So because there's a lot of products here around me, so let's get started. Um, the first thing is I'll do body skincare. As in, if you can refer to my winter skincare video. So the first thing for my body is um, I'm doing a bit different routine. Um, everything in the shower, the, sh the soap I use, the scrub I use, um, all that stuff is all the same. But what I'm doing different is I'm done with the body butters. Um, I'm not done with them. It's not like I'll never use body butter again. But I'm not using it on a regular basis anymore. What I'm doing is I'm putting the Collagen Care Pure Collagen Gel on. And this was just to see if this would do anything. Um, it was like $4 at iHerb. And I thought, oh, what the heck, because I was already buying some um, multivitamins and stuff like that. And, you know, 4 bucks more isn't a big deal. Um, or at least not to me. And I'm using it for body and face. And so far, it's, it's just a nice cooling um, gel. Kind of turns watery once you start working it in. Um, yeah, so I haven't ha had any irritation or whatever, so, so far so good on that. Um, then I'm using the Paula's Choice Weightless Body Treatment with the 2% Beta Hydroxy Acid. And I've talked about this and my updated skincare stuff, um, at the beginning of the year. And this is just a lotion. And I put this mainly on my arms and my legs um, because that's where I'm getting um, the KP bumps or whatever, which I'll indicate what that means if you don't know or I didn't watch that video. And it's not really doing much for it. I didn't really have bumps. It's just like dots. It's just like the pigment of a bump, but there's no, it doesn't feel bumpy. It feels smooth so <laughs> after all that exfoliating I do but it's a really nice treatment um, I think it's probably still helping exfoliate the skin with the hydroxy acid so I don't know if I would recommend this because it's twenty two dollars and then you have shipping um, and it was free shipping that's why I decided to go for this finally so I bought two of these and I'm only on this is the first one so um, at least it lasts for a while I uh, then put on um, the cake lotion, but what I'm doing different is now I'm putting the um, Alba Organic Body Oil. I'm putting that all over the, all over my hand like a good, like, I don't know, dime, pea size to dime size, depending on what body part we're talking about. And some of the lotion, and I rub it together, and I put it on. And that seems to be enough to moisturize. It also... The oil sinks in because before I was doing it and the oil kind of felt like it was some sinking in and some kind of sitting on there depending on if, you know, I put too much on one area or not or another. So I um, have changed that and it seems to really work. I've now done this for a week now and it seems to be working. So And it's moisturizing enough that I'm not getting irritated the next day. So, um, so yeah, cut out the body butter. And uh, which is good because I bought way too much of that cake lotion, and um, <laughs> well, I'm probably gonna have to repurchase this because uh, probably gonna run out of that now soon. It has more than just cocoa nut oil in it, and um, it has sunflower oil, vitamin E oil, coconut oil, um, macadamia nut oil, cocoa nut oil. Uh, what else does it say? I'm reading it over here. Um, almond oil, flaxseed oil. I think I got them all. And so, you know, that's just jam-packed with a lot of good oil. So um, I think all of that is really helping. Um, also, let's see, the Asper Mask. I'm really loving the Asper Mask. What I'm doing differently is putting it with honey <clears throat> or mixing it with honey. So I take two of these, or I'll take them. I take out of this, and they're uncoated. I don't use, I don't actually use aspirin other than for this. <laughs> and, um, 
and this one's from Walgreens for 99 cents. So I take two of those and I take the tiniest bit of water it will take to dissolve them as little as possible because you want it almost dry when it um, dissolves. And then I put a dollop of the honey and mix it together and then it's pliable to then put on your face and sticky enough that it stays on there. Um, and I leave that on for 20 minutes and then I rinse that off and I put the Friedman enzyme mask, the pineapple one on for 10 minutes and by the time I rub that off my skin is just like it's so smooth love it pour it the pores are all refined all that good stuff everyone talks about yes it is true you can do that um, using that once a week seems to be enough for me I try to do at least one um, one day a week I try to do like a mask two masks two or three masks that kind of complement each other so that you know, if one might be like exfoliating, then you put like a hydrating one on or something like that. These two are exfoliating, exfoliating. Then I put, um, I either put on a heavier moisturizer or I'll put on a hydrating mask or something. So, yeah, but it doesn't really matter what that mask is. It's just those two that I really had to stress that I'm loving and I'm kind of obsessed with it. I make sure to use it. Like, I can't wait to use it. Sunscreen, Neutrogena Water Light Daily Face Sunscreen, SPF 60. And I have a love-hate relationship with this, so I don't know if I'll purchase it again. <laughs> it's watery, as you can see, and this one's running down. And you, you have to shake it. It has like this little, yeah, that kind of noise, like ball at the bottom of it. And it just sinks right in. I don't notice any kind of white cast afterwards. Maybe a little bit, but once you rub it in, it's fine. I don't notice anything different. And I haven't noticed anything when I take pictures or anything like that. Um, you can get fragrance free. This one's not. And it smells like, you know, what sunscreen smells like. <laughs> I'm sure that's really helpful. How do I say this? It's watery and it's like dry, but at the same time it leaves like a greasy kind of look to my skin. Um, I'm not sure if they have something in here to make it kind of shiny or what. Um, so that's the hate part is that it almost feels greasy on my skin even though it's not and looks kind of greasy but it's not so I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to be doing or what's going on there. I've seen some other ones like this that are um, like the La Roche Posay one that I saw the Sublime Agent do a um, video on and um, it was very helpful because I was thinking of going with that line um, because La Roche Posay is in Canada is like in all the drugstores. So because we have it available um, I do utilize it and there's a lot of sales and stuff that you can get so I might try that one I'm not sure because if it's like this it's I don't know I just I don't know but Whatever you do, you must have sunscreen, and yeah, yeah. I don't care what color you are, how dark or light you are, or you know, if you tan easy or whatever that is, you should have sunscreen. Those UV rays are no joke, and when a, a relative of mine had some skin care issue or a skin cancer issue, that totally hit home with me, and so I don't play anymore because I used to just bathe in the sun because I love heat. The Bioderma Hydro, uh, H2O solution and um, still using it. I haven't even gone through this little baby thing. I haven't even gotten to the 500 mil that I got um, and then this was like a uh, came in like a little pouch of samples and this was one of them with the um, a serum by them which is a moisturizing concentrate for sensitive very hydrating skin hydrate dehydrated skin and um, I've used this as well it's, it's really 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 hydrating a little goes a long way and so if you have really dehydrated skin I really would recommend you know try giving this a go or seeing if you can get a sample it has a bit of a smell and it's a clear gel I don't know if you can see this or not do that you see? Yeah. Ah, well, I might as well take it out now because it's come out. 
looks like that. <laughs> Can you even see it when it's clear? And uh, now this hand will be ultra moisturized. It's lightweight, but it is very, very moisturizing. It does have a bit of a smell. I wouldn't say it's overly so. Then it had a few other um, skin care um, for hydrating, hydration and sensitive skin. Give them a try sometime. I'm not sure. But loving this. Um, I don't know if I will buy it again just because I prefer to just take off all my makeup with like a cleansing milk or something that just kind of smooths everything away. I just like the feeling of that. And then, you know, rinsing it off and then washing my face. It's helpful for your eyes. Um, but I don't use a lot of eye makeup, so I might not be the target audience for that. The um, Peacekeeper Super Fruit, Super Fruit Balm, and this, yeah, this is in Super Fruit. It looks like this. It's like this huge tube. It's very hydrating. It smells like fruit. It's got like goji, berry, pomegranate, sea buckthorn, raspberry, antioxidant stuff in. Um, this is the difference between the two tubes. This is the Burt's Bees one, so you can see how fat it is. And um, I'm really liking putting this on, <clears throat> and then the Burt's Bees on top. So now that's what I do uh, morning and night with my skincare routine, and I'm just loving it. It really is moisturizing. Reversa Anti-Wrinkle Contour Eye Cream, SPF 15, 4% glycolic acid. And I'm loving this. I'm loving it around my eye. Uh, my, well, it's the only place you put it. But right here and into here, it just feels like it hydrates so well with so little. And it seems to really help sloth away skin that really hasn't had an opportunity to do that. Because I don't usually put that kind of stuff around my eyes unless it's formulated for it. Um, so I'm really liking that. Not really liking the price, but I'm loving it. And I think because a little goes a long way, it'll last me a little bit. And I think... Oh, this is the last one. Yada, yada, yada. The Rexaline Hydroforce Concentrated Hyper Hydrating Anti-Wrinkle Serum that I got at Boxing Day from Sephora for free for buying a bunch of skincare stuff. And it looks like that. It's like a white... Creamy emulsion, and it's overly fragrant. I think I said that then, and I still feel that way every time I use it. I use it during the day um, because I want hydration in my skin, and this is light enough, so it's not like a heavy moisturizer. It's really good at hydrating. Horrible at if you have any for skincare. I just don't understand why you put a bunch of perfume in it. Um, it's sixty nine dollars, so I wouldn't. I don't think I would repurchase this. I didn't purchase it the first time, but I wouldn't buy this. Um, I think there's a lot of things that can hydrate your skin without a bunch of perfume and dumped into it, and um, it's too bad because this is actually a nice formula. I, I actually like the serum, but I don't really understand why people put heavy perfume in their stuff. So. That is, uh, that's it right now, and, um, I hope this ramble helped anybody, and it wasn't really quick, but I've got a lot in, so that's good, and, um, I hope you have a good rest of the week, because it was Thursday now, so, yeah, let's just keep on going, we're almost to the weekend, and, um, take care, bye.